Welcome, my dear J aspirants. There are two sad breaking announcements. And I feel it affects every kid out there who is putting their heart and soul and their hard-earned money into the J preparation. Whether you are 10th, 11th, 12th or dropper student, please watch this till the end. Now, also subscribe to the Vedantu J English channel and like this video so that you get timely updates and are notified not just about the news but also the academic videos which are conducted on this channel okay thank you for liking and subscribing let's get straight away to the two important articles now the first one is regarding the computer science seats i'm pretty sure many of you out there are dreaming or maybe thinking maybe in the near future i'll be doing something related to computer science and that is how even today's world is evolving even the doctors today are taking up courses on data sciences, uh, machine learning algorithms. They want to pursue that as a side career because right now it is very much integrated into every single field, right from medical to teaching to engineering. So we are somewhere or the other related to computer science, engineering, AI, data science, machine learning, everything. Now, what is the sad news is the government of Karnataka has considered freezing the enhancement of computer science engineering seats and it's just just Karnataka look at this Telangana High Court back state government no extra computer science seats for colleges from 2024 to 2025 now what is exactly happening let me give you the entire backstory then I will take you to the second news see computer science obviously has been growing for the past two decades like crazily so other branches which are there they are losing their sheen and there are many such articles on that also um, which were made you know if you go traditional engineering courses lose their sheen among students not just here but everywhere else meaning mechanical civil the jobs are less the scope the salary pay is slightly less and in general computer science is a more fancier job you get multinational companies it's not like you don't get multinational in mechanical or not but opportunities are more and it is growing and after the pandemic especially the salary is inflated like crazy so everybody wants to go there because even if you are an average performer your pa salary packages are good that's what has been happening but now because of ai and too many computer science engineers and lack of demand and lack of supply also in the traditional branches suddenly what has happened you know with the world doesn't need so many computer science engineers forget about just engineers so many computer science engineers is becoming like an oversupply and what is happening is those jobs which computer science engineers used to think they will do like developing is right now being slowly replaced by automation tasks and artificial intelligence and many world leaders are also saying that most of the development is right now happening through ai even the top developers are saying they are taking the help of ai and they are replacing many mid level and you know junior level roles so as a result the demand is not decreasing but it is slowly stagnating supply is there a lot students are flocking like sheep i don't blame the students or the parents but that is how we will wherever the demand is we will go colleges are taking advantage they are slowly shutting down the other branches or hardly five six students are there in let's say civil what will they do running it everybody wants computer science so they are opening multiple branches of computer science now aicet which is a technical body which takes care of, uh, you know, uh, the kind of regulations and, you know, the admissions and the seats and all these things for engineering colleges. They say you cannot just keep on increasing the seats. Obviously, it doesn't make sense. There is certain limitation. But these days, they were also very lenient because, okay, demand is there. Okay, you increase the seats. But now, because there is no demand, because things are stagnating, job losses, AI and so many other things, now, slowly the crackdown is happening where, you know, high courts and governments, all of them slowly are telling that, listen, boss, you know, we should start reducing the number of seats and this will happen very soon. 
even from 2026. 2027 will definitely be affected more, but 2026 might not be affected so much, but small effect will be there. So if you are hoping that the number of seats in computer science, AI, etc. will increase, you are in for a shocker. It will not. Okay. And let me tell you, Karnataka, Telangana, Maharashtra, Tamil Nadu, these are the states where maximum engineering colleges and also computer science engineers are being produced. And most of the jobs are also here in these four or five states. Are you understanding it? So, this is really, really shocking. But also, I think it was overdue. It's not like there is infinite demand for computer science. It, obviously, there will be a break somewhere. So, you have to start thinking of other opportunities and other branches just in case you are not in that top zone. Okay, if you want computer science in top colleges or even medium good colleges, you will have to work really, really hard. So, I wanted you to be prepared and enhance your J preparation. Don't take it in a bad way, take it in a good way. That is the first thing. Second thing is the NIRF rankings, which came, you know, a few days back. And the list was there where, you know, again, IIT Madras was on the top and, you know, the entire list was published over here. I think it went somewhere. Anyways, the problem is now the rankings obviously seemed a bit off. See, I don't want to say that it is a scam or anything, but it was definitely shocking where many colleges which were expected to be there on the top are there at the bottom. Some private universities are there on the top which raises a lot of questions. How come so many private colleges are there about NITs and IITs? I mean, just think about it. When we talk about best colleges for engineering in our country, we think about IITs, NITs bits. Duck. But then when you start seeing many of these IITs and many of these NITs or even bits are at a lower ranking, then you start wondering whether I am making the wrong decision. Should I go for this college? And when you go to that college, you see the fees are high, the placements may be not so great. Maybe few students are getting that placement, not everyone. And sometimes they overinflate. And I'm not saying this. Look at it. There are data gaps at many colleges like Andhra University, I am Mumbai, okay, inflated faculty members, so many things. And there are some whistleblowers who are rep uh, reporting these anomalies. I'll tell you what happens in uh, placement. Just giving you an example. Imagine there are 150 students or let's say 200 students. 200 students will sit for the placement. Some of them will not sit also maybe. Maybe 10 students did not sit or 20 students will not sit because maybe they want to go abroad. Let's say out of 200, 20 decided not to sit. 180 will sit for the placement. That means companies will come and hire them. Now out of that, not everyone will get a job. Let's say 30 people did not get a job. So 180 minus 30 is 150. Now what colleges do is they make the 30 people who did not get a job saying that, listen, I did not participate in the placement at all. Gone. 20 students who did not participate only, they were anyways left out. So out of 150 students who actually got the job, only they consider them and they say, 150 students applied for the placement and 150 got placement, 100% placement. Or sometimes just to make it look realistic, they say, okay, one or two students will take from here and there. They make 152 students and 150 students got placed. 99.8% students got placed. So this kind of scams happen and it is very open. It is very common knowledge now. Even some students, they get their placement through their own effort by applying on their own through some platform or because of internships. They consider their data and show it as their college placement. Are you getting my point? So I as a student on my own, my effort, not college, I applied and I got it from some pre-placement or through contact. College will tell, you tell that this was through the college and they count it as their numbers. There were many cases where students got placed in Google, Facebook, other things through their own effort or through hackathons or competitions. And they got crores of package or even lakhs, 50 lakhs, 80 lakhs package. That college definitely on their own could not get that high package. The college claimed this highest package from mine. So this kind of scams happen. Sometimes they show more faculties than required. They show more research is being done, more papers are being published or whatever. 
you know all these things happen and nrf rankings are a big question mark so just don't go by nrf rankings is the point that i am making over here okay yes it can be a ballpark figure to some to start somewhere but that is not the ultimate ranking which you should consider so be little bit careful especially for your parents and you know those kids who are not aware of this or else you will fall scam or you will fall prey to such things and then after getting admission you will realize i made a mistake okay so that is what i wanted to tell all of you so please please be aware and yes if you have uh, not yet registered for mvsat please do that right now because we are coming on 4th 5th 11th and 12th october in multiple vedantu learning centers spread across the country as you are watching this particular video make sure you are registering for mvsat using this particular link not only prizes scholarship but also the moment you register you are getting free study material and brochures the moment and resources the moment you register very easy just enter your mobile number scholarships are there prizes are there phones tablets you name it there is a chance that you might win and guys the syllabus is different for everyone for je neat 11th 12th dropper 9th 10th everyone it's open for 8th 9th 10th 11th 12th dropper je neat everyone it's there across the country so make sure you're registering and yes lot of amazing and exciting things are going to happen at the centers so please register for mvsat 4th october 5th october 11th and of course at uh, 12 okay so these are the dates syllabus is your grade syllabus only cool so these were the two updates and plus mv said hopefully uh, you have understood the news and smash the like button so that youtube will push more such updates for you and subscribe on the channel for amazing such information and academic videos this was your captain shreyas signing off bye bye